Hello, volleyball fans, and welcome back to Stadium Court. It's the FIVB four-star Huntington Beach Open presented by the AVP. You heard the intros. Nick Lucena at the service line. I'm Matty Bishop alongside Tri Born and Kame Shog. We've got ourselves a fantastic matchup here. Tri, Kame, tell us a little bit about uh, this next challenge that's in front of Phil and Nick. This is, uh, this is a big game. This is Latvia's number one team. This team is very, very experienced. Uh, they've been one of the best teams in the world the, the last many years, and uh, this is going to be a battle. This is also a, a battle that's going to be in, in a lot of wins. So it's going to be a lot about managing your own side and, and uh, taking care of the little things. Yeah, it's one of the only teams that you'll see split blocking. Uh, and they've been doing it for years, one of the best teams at it. And uh, also that guy that just served is lethal from the service line. You'll see him cracking it when he gets to the other side, the good side. Phil and Nick starting on the good side. Giannis Medlin's got the block against Phil right out of the gates there. Nick sides out down the line. It should be a very good match. We're on the winner's side of the bracket, so not do or die at this point, but uh, the winner gets one match tomorrow, I believe, to determine if they make the semifinal. The loser has a little bit uh, more difficult row to hoe. Nice pickup by Nick, but loses it out of play. There's that big arm swing I was talking about. Yeah, these Latvians will run a little bit of a quicker offense at times, especially in this wind, as you saw, a little bit of a shoot set there. Try to get Phil off balance, and uh, that's a real big swing by Giannis. Phil with the left, uh -huh. just making it happen. That'll work, Phil. Not supposed to be that easy. Look at the flags here. The wind is definitely picked up now, and uh, Lucena is serving from the good side. Sun is dropping on the horizon a little bit as well. Not sure that it'll become too much of a factor during this match. Perhaps during our next match, it'll become more of a factor. Here's Nick. Off the tape, Smedlin's with the dig. Nice touch oh, there. Alexandra's nice pickup. Nick gets another shot. Nice. As we take a look at that kill. Nice dig by Giannis. Nick wrist away down the line, that's a good shot. Phil at the service line. Nice dig by Samalos. Oh, there. Bit of an unforced error there by Smith. Yeah, you see him try to go tempo to beat the block up to the net, but if you air over with a guy like Phil Dahlhauser at the net, you can bet you're going to lose that point. Well, and that wind is not helping you going tempo in that direction for right. that situation. Right. Yeah, it's a tough set to make, no doubt about it. Great swing by Alex Moila was off the net there. Thought he was in a little bit of trouble when that ball started to drift back off the net. Yeah, it's a really nice, nice swing. This Latvian team is one of the hardest training teams in the world, no doubt about it. They uh, they train in Egypt in the off season and they go twice a day and they're spending hours and hours and hours on the sand and um, just trying to rep it out. Great shot there by Nick down the line. Pick up in a ridiculous jumbo by Nick with the wind at his back. What a shot. Precision. You Nick hit the service line. Basically would have had to aim about three feet into the court to get it to land right on the line. Yeah, not as easy to see on the TV, but man, that was a good precise shot by him. Yeah, keep an eye on those flags. Giannis Smedin hammers that one on two. Big lefty hammer. You're going to see this from him all day, especially from this side of the court. Like he hits it so hard, but he also hits it so fast. He's got one of the fastest shoulders that you'll see. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, so it's hard to read the ball coming off of his arm. Almost took my thumb off the first time I played him. <laughs> Nice job by Nick to put that one down. Alexander's asking for a net on that one. Woo! 
I think it's a good start so far for Phil and Nick. Licks kind a little of starting, bit. Starting a little bit slow this tournament so far, so I think 6-5 uh, is a good start. Yeah. A little smoother than what we saw this morning against the Brazilians. Definitely. Right out of the gates. These guys are smart. They're going to run that stuff in the wind all day, just kind of pushing it up, shoveling it to the net, and just slapping it around. Make it tough for Phil. Make him work. Nice serve. The ace from Lion King to take Majority of the time, that's what you're going to see here. Jump serving into the wind. Oh, nice pickup. Nick gets one back. Yeah, there's trouble all the way. USA moves to the good side here. Let's see if they can make a run over there. They won the good side 4-3 when they were over here last time. Latvian's got a, he's like a 5-2 on the good side that time around. Yep. Seem for Phil that time. Alex uh, Samuelovs is serving really tough right now. I think uh, the strategy is to put him in, put him under pressure, make him go to work, and and have to have to make really good sets out of it. It's a it's a good way to play. I think like the toss got away from him a little bit there as he's reaching for it the whole time. A little gusty for sure. Much needed side out though. Now Nick has an opportunity to take advantage of the good side with his serve. Nice dig from Nick. Oh, and the big block from Giannis Smedens. Nice play from the Latvian. So fun to watch each individual player on the Latvian side be able to make nice blocks and digs. Constantly Sealed throughout. the line perfectly there. Yeah, really nice hands. Really complete, complete players with the split block setup. You got to be able to both block and defend at a world class level. That's extremely impressive. Tough serve by Phil. That was a bit of a spatch. Deep corner. It's a tough ball to pass. Yeah. Was he jump top a little. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it, he says. He's been floating all day, so. Yeah. <laughs> his, with this his, wind, it's probably good to smack it a few times. Yeah. Voila. Oh, that was very nice side out. <laughs> Rushes that one. What a set. Ball almost got away from Smittens, but he's able to make up for it by dropping down to the sand while he said that. And that was tempo to the pin. I mean, mm -hmm. that was a real good ball. Samoylovs was dealing with a few little injuries last year. They had a, had a bit of a tough season, but from what he's told me, he's uh, he's feeling much better. They've had a good start already. They already have a bronze at a five star, I believe, and um, they're doing well. They're playing well. Close to a football there. Looks like one to me. Fans want it. Oh, little flipper. Oh my. Nick wants the football. I saw that play. Hey, what, what's up? You watching? We'll take technical time out at 12-9. 12-9 going into the technical. Phil and Nick with some work to do. Make sure you stop by the KT Jake booth over in Sponsor Row. Find out how KT Tape can help support your pain and your injuries. 
And get a free taping demo at KT Tape. Train longer. Finish stronger. And, by the way, courtesy of KT Tape, up in Club ADP. Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes are about to do a little meet and greet. If you got your Club ADP pass, head on up there. Be up there by 4.30. All right, so it's a technical timeout set number one. Summer Phil Dahlhauser, Nick Lucena looking to, uh, to stay on the good side of the bracket here. Windy conditions in the FIVB. Four Star Huntington Beach Open presented by the AVP. I'm Matty Bishop alongside Triborn and Kame Shulk. These guys are dealing with some pretty tough conditions here. Uh, Phil and Nick need to kind of balance it out a little bit, try to play a little more ball controlled. Uh, right now, Latvian's looking really sharp in this wind. Don't want to be making too many service errors though uh, when you are on the good side like yeah. Samoylovs just did. It's a tough point to give away. We did see in the earlier match, uh, the USA-Canada women's match, the uh, wind was changing quite often. Um, it looks like it's all going one way, but it's pretty swirly in there, I think. So it's not necessarily that uh, Latvia's side is the good side right now, but it's uh, it's just kind of the ball is moving unpredictably, I would say. Stadium has a strange effect on the wind as it's coming through. I sat a couple different places through that match, and it's... Yeah, it's a very different experience depending on exactly where you are. And what a, a few dig feet there. can make a difference. Oh, oh, wow. he missed it. That's a big, big play by Nick. I was to keep Incredible that point dig. alive, and then the Latvians give away another one. Here's a look at his dig. Sprawled completely. Another big dig from Nick. That sets way off the net. Samoylovs get it, and Smetans puts that one away. Smetans, phenomenal play. He stays down on the block. He's ready for the on two. Beautiful dig set from Samoylovs. Nick's moving well in the backcourt. Yeah, he's hopefully he can convert a few more of these, and just so be back scrappy. In. Yeah, so hard to get a ball down on Nick, and <laughs> you got to wow. get it past Phil well. first. Yeah. Phil takes advantage of his opportunity to side out there. Those don't come along very often. Pretty sure Giannis Spedens has got a, uh, a little Mikasa logo on his chest right now. It's <laughs> a good shot. Very smooth. Smooth side out there. Didn't look like the line was much of an option for him. He did a really nice job at turning a, a pretty precise angle. Yeah, Alex likes to wait for the ball and then kind of turn his shoulders last minute as he's hitting line. This uh, should go down. Out. Oh. Oh. Giannis that is struggling on the good side there. That was a bad, bad turn over there for the. Uh, for the Latvians. That's a ball you just got it. You have to put that away. Yeah. Uh, I think I jinxed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of try. Great, great slow down there. You're welcome, Team USA. <laughs> Nick Lucena. Oh. No one's happy with that. Any, lap, yeah. any notions as to what yeah. they're trying to do with that ball that going into the wind? Why are they putting that in a mid net level? Seem you would just be ripping at that point. Yeah, it's just trying to be over aggressive, I think. I think the float serves, if you can put it right over the top of the tape and where it's kind of going at the back line and then it's kind of dropping, it's catchy. it'll catch the passer high on his platform, but the wind will help it not go out. So I think that's what that flat float serve into the wind is. I'd, rather, I'd be cracking uh, jump serves the whole time, but that's, that's the, you know, 26-year-old me that would just jump serve the crap out of everything. These guys are 38. Old men, <laughs> saving their energy. Sweet old man shot down the line from Nick there. Bounced the, bounced the tape as it went line. Phil with the serve now. Here's that jumpy. And it 
it goes out. Yeah, maybe it's not as true of a win like you guys were talking about. Well, I think it's we get a it a little more true up high, whereas right. down inside, it's it's not as much of a factor, I don't think. When they kick up that dust, another one in the net. When they're kicking up the dust, you can kind of see it swirling. Swirls, it's, yeah. It's Big definitely circles. moving in, in a weird way as my monitor almost blows over. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. That's yes. good. Nice play. What a way. Samoylov's knew Phil was going to be all over that. There's nowhere to go. Just got contact and then threw it out of bounds. If you can get that ball to go out on your side of the net, uh, refs are going to give it to you. Cut. Nick moving over a little bit more central on that one. Left lots of, had lots of line to work with. He's doing a nice job down that line at a serve receive, setting up really well. The nice part about as a right side player coming into the middle like that is you have that low wrist away line a little bit easier than, than when you are pushed out. So he's using that pretty well. Nice read by Phil. Oh, oh wow. right on the line. That's about as good as it gets there. What a dig. Those are the those are kind of like mentally hard to get over because Phil makes a yeah. kind of an unreal play like that. Somehow gets it to land on the back line and you're thinking to yourself, you know, what more can, what more do I gotta do? Still working Alexander. Nice pick up by Nick. Oh what a set. Smedens with the block. Phil can't get under yeah, it. I, I thought they, for FIVB rules, I thought maybe they could have called that a uh, lift, like it was in Phil's hands too long. I don't know. I I prefer no call, but as you see, the, the Latvians would looks prefer quick. a call. It looks Did not like quick. it. I mean, tough call. That's why we don't have to make those calls. I like it, but from what I've yeah. been seeing all week and from what I see from FIVB, they, I wouldn't have been surprised if they called that uh, yeah, for holding it a little too long. Timeout, Phil and Nick, as the Latvians with a one-point lead. So we're cruising towards the end of set one here. It's been it's been good. It feels like the players are playing the conditions as much as they're playing each other, uh, which adds a whole different layer and element to the game. One of my favorite parts of beach volleyball. Yeah, you have to. Uh, there's totally tournaments where, you know, Let's say there's a team that's really good in the win and they're going to do well in those tournaments and other teams that are good in maybe shallow sand or, uh, yeah, you know, uh, like a Brower Musen who, if it's shallow sand and no win, like, I mean, they're training good indoors half them, the yeah. year uh, over in the Netherlands. So that's going to be kind of their bread and butter. But the best teams are going to adjust to all conditions for sure. Well, USA is hanging around here. They're down 19-18. Uh, you know, it seems like Latvia has been controlling the play a little bit more, but these guys can stick around and see if see if Phil and Nick can make a couple plays here to steal this one. Yeah, this game's basically tied. Phil off balance. What a play! Wow. Oh, oh takes Phil. Line again. Of course, the back line. It, it seems like Phil. He doesn't have to go, like, have that lob like most people do. He can just kind of hit it straight at the back line. Well, and how heartbreaking. Alexander Samalov's made two great plays here at the net, and then Phil just swats it down and puts it away. Yeah. 19s, first to two wins. Pick up by Nick, but that's over and out. Samalovs gets the kill. Set point for the Latvians. Here comes Nick Lucena. Oh. Tight set, nice play. It's a big, big side out. Yeah, nice play by Nick. Samoylov's had to decide whether they were going to joust or if he was going to actually take a block. I thought he maybe was going to go to like battle it out at the net with Nick, but 
Nick Maybe had not. other ideas. Maybe not. Small arms again. Ooh. Tied at 20. Oh, Phil. Nice pickup by Smedden. Oh, wow. The what a set. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was an amazing set. One of the most athletic teams on tour, and that's why right there. Watch this. Gets Phil jumping. That was ridiculous. I think everybody in the stadium bit that hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, yeah I bit. Going at Phil. Oh. Interesting choice. Yeah. Not the right one in that case. Phil nonchalantly walks over the net yeah. after crushing the ball straight down. <laughs> Super fired up right now. Yeah. This is Phil's motivated face. <laughs> Smedden. Oh, oh he uses the block. It's that fast arm swing that's just real tough to clamp down as a blocker. Fast and high. It's a good recipe. Yeah. Giannis Medden serving for set one now. So we are playing bonus volleyball here. Oh, he read that. Nick gets it back. Net call against Smedden's and uh, not over yet. Really nice read down the line by Smedens. Couldn't put it away, though. Nick had that up anyway. Ball drifting. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. A little flourish from the line judge there. That ball had to be right on the line. Lucena was chasing it. I thought Nick had it. Yeah, he's there. Oh, wow. Oh, such quick reactions, too. But Smedens was perfect with it. Set point again for the Latvians. Short on Nick this time. What a set by Phil. What oh, a wow. Oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> what a set of volleyball. That was uh, entertaining. That was a lot of fun. The Latvians in bonus points, 24-22. Take a one set to none lead over Phil and Nick. I don't know if I've seen a block like that. That a block jumbo. I guess that's about all you could call it, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Oh, back in the end on the water final point of set one for Smedes and Samoyla. As we see the Kona team in big of the day coming up on the big screen. So coming up here on the break as we get ready for set number two, we're going we're gonna to have the Kona Deep, deepest dig of the day from earlier this afternoon. There it is. Go to beat the official water of the ADP. Here's the thing of the day coming from Simon. Oh. <laughs> Alvaro. Uh. was Alvaro, that was an amazing match. He had so many of those. There were like five that you could have called the Kona Deep Deepest Dig of the Day. Big shout out to AVP sponsors Kona Deep for helping to make this event here in Huntington Beach possible. They've been a supporter of the AVP for a few years now, bringing you deep ocean water off the big island of Hawaii, taking the, uh, the salts out of it, leaving the minerals, helping you uh, Stay hydrated and perform your best. It's a it, hot place right now, Kona. Man, the it's... volcano's going off. Yeah. That was a little more traditional block. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go with the jumbo block there. <laughs> Good choice. The Latvians picking up right where they left off at the end of set one. Oh, that's over that again. There he puts it away. That ball is moving. That ball moved three meters, I think. It, tr it certainly did. 
you could make a, a bit of an argument for a catch and throw there, I think. Ball starts behind his head and he launches it into the other court. I'm... Yeah, it depends on the ref and, and the day. See if Phil and Nick can uh, settle down here, start siding out a little bit better. Comes Phil. Well, that's a good way to do it. I mean, that's a bit of a mistake on that serve, I think. Just a, is got it? all the momentum on, on Nick right now. And you got two aired sets by Phil. Yeah. And then you bail them out. Now they're feeling a little better about themselves, so see if they can steal one. Some more laughs. Off the net a little bit. Phil is there. I'm sure he'll claim it. Not sure how much of it he got. He got it a little bit. Let's Looks check it out. Me, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely a block there. Nice work by Phil and Nick. Me and Cam saw it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. Here comes Smedens. Quick to the outside, and he misses. Big scrappy play there by Phil and Nick. Great touch. Phil is going all out for it. Alex hammers that one down. This is the second-to-last round of the winner's bracket. Winner to the final round of the winners. Hey, perfect serve. High, deep middle. On the line. Good spot. Much better. I had the privilege of coaching a camp with Alex Samoylovs about a month ago in Tel Aviv, Israel, called Beach Box Camps. It was a blast. He's a he's a good dude. One of the nicest guys on tour, I think, and uh, always has a lot of energy. That guy. <laughs> yeah. How uh, how was that camp? I mean, Tel Aviv. I've only heard good things. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, good turnout of people and teaching a ton of ton of people the basic skills and and uh, nice serve there by Phil. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Just kind of got to mingle with some of the locals and uh, tour around a bit. And they're doing some really cool things with the beach box camps. And have a bunch happening throughout the year, so it's uh, it's good. If you're ever out in Europe, you know who to call. Yeah, and I think they do one in the U.S. Sometimes they would do one in Florida. They oh, do really? One in Spain in October. Um, they did one in Florida last year. Yeah. So they, they kind of mix it up a bit. They want to come to Hermosa, I think. So we'll see. Oh, I love it. Smedens with a nice dig there. Over Phil. Nick's all over it. Oh, what a set by Nick there. Yeah. Samoylovs is there, too. He's in the pocket. Just kind of got caught falling over. See, so yeah. Samoylovs. If he could have just got his feet planted, he would have got that. Amazing set by Nick. Big miss by Smedens. He's been prone to that today. Yeah, sometimes you have a tendency to swing for hands a, a lot more often when Phil's up there. But if he's disciplined, uh, sometimes you miss. He puts so much velocity behind the ball that once in a while he'll have those miss hits. Right, that's true. Um, with that fast arm. so. But when he's on, it's, it's unstoppable. Very precise shot right on the line. Nice change of pace from him. Oh, I don't know. Touch. I, I couldn't tell you. Came off the block and then the antenna. We're going to need a replay. Or just the tape and out. Oh, yeah. It has to be a block. I mean, off the block. Got his elbow. 
net cam. Uh, it's not really possible for the ball to come this way. No, it did not change the direction. It's got to have touched something. Oh, it definitely touched the block. It's just whether it hit the antenna at the same time, which I don't think it did. No. That's a big break for Latvia. One more time here. Let's see if we can slow it down. Yeah, it's off the block. Yeah. Antenna move because it hit the tape hit so the hard. Tape, yeah. Here comes Nick. <laughs> Still giving it to the ref. Yeah, a little bit. reminding him. Big, nice set there by Phil. Is it to bump set with this wind a little bit. Runs off, Phil, all over that one. Yeah, he can take a few different things. Watch him press here. He it's, was taking all the line and some angle. Just nowhere to go when he's that far over the net. Phil serves. Smedens. Oh. He's missed a few big ones, but he's had a couple beautiful touch shots. And he just goes up big and... He has such a great mix to his game. He has every shot, so when one thing isn't perfect or dialed in, you know, you have other options, so it's nice to have that available. <laughs> Tough shot to hit from that far off the net. Yeah, it wasn't going down even if it was in. Yeah, it served through Nick out of rhythm a little bit. He was almost facing the end line when he passed that. And here come the Latvians back, tied it up again. The easy one. <laughs> Nick just lost vision for a second, and Samoilovs had a perfectly timed drop. Yeah, when it's really windy out, it's obviously a lot tougher to see what the defense is doing because you're trying to keep, you're trying to just keep the ball in front of you and, and uh, not not overrun it. So, gotta you know swing a little more and, and trust your partner's call a little bit. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nick serves, some loves. Outside shoulder that turn again. takes it and goes down the line, and he does, he turns so late. Yeah. There's a couple different ways to hit a line shot. Some people will face face the angle and go all arm. Some people will face the line, but but what he does is he's facing the, the deep angle, turns last minute with with his entire shoulders, which gives you, you know, gives you a little more room to play with. Also gives you a little more power than just kind of snapping it with your arm alone. Sweet shot. Latvia goes into the technical. Leading here in set number two. This is the AVP.com coverage of the FIVB Huntington Beach Open. This is a four-star event, 48-team main draw, unlike anything ever seen in the world of FIVB so volleyball. Not a producer, Daniel, not a banana. It's a bardana. Bardana. It is, it's it's crazy to walk around this place. Every time we get a break, I go walk around and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go walk the, watch this. Oh, wait, I'll just look here for a minute. Oh, wait, I'll just look here for a minute. It's, it's like candy. Good volleyball overload. Yeah. It's so hard. It is almost too much. It would need like a whole week for everyone to be able to watch all the matches they want. They'd have to spread it out over an entire week. And they're only getting better. Basically watching like finals, potential finals. Like. And we're fr we're in Friday, guys. <laughs> we're still on Friday. Friday. Yes. Fans are showing up too. It's been big crowds. Lots of fans on the outer courts. Nice block from Alex Samoylovs there. Ref took the hit. Ooh. Oh, 
one. Still trying to go on two. It just doesn't look good right now. Doesn't look good for the Americans. Yeah, they're fighting it a bit. Lafayette is looking pretty smooth. Almost snuck that first set, but it's just the consistency of the Latvians is uh, it's very impressive right now. Uh, it's a good timeout, I think, by Phil and Nick, as they, uh, you know, it just doesn't look right. You can see it. And yeah. So they're going to take a minute and try and right the ship. They have time to turn it around here still, so we've yeah, seen them do crazier things. That's there's for sure. plenty of time. You know, there's plenty of time. It's also, we haven't mentioned all day that it's Aloha Friday, and that's disappointing. It's kind of brewing company as a sponsor. It's Aloha Friday. We've been here at the beach all day. Those two things just kind of go together. Absolutely. I'm loving it. Time to grab a Kona brew. My, my wife's favorite is the uh, the Wailua wheat. I don't think you can get it all the time, but it's like a Hapalizer with a yep. little bit of Lilikoi in it. Yep. Oh, it's so good. delicious. I've had, a, I've had a few Wailua wheats while in Wailua. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> We got our Kona Deep up here in the booth, but nobody's brought us our Kona Brews yet. No, we they were rocking the kombuchas earlier. Dr. Brew is in the house. <laughs> Comes Nick. Opportunity side out from the good side, and he misses that one. That's the beauty of a nicely raked line. The, <laughs> no you don't doubt. really have to make the call. You <laughs> yeah. just wait and look at the mark. No doubt. Nick. Oh, Nick Lucena. <laughs> you gotta find that. And the Lion King impersonation. If something's gonna make that Phil is laugh, the best thing I've it. seen today. Nice. <laughs> Lion <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's unbelievable. Right. Instant classic. Put his own sports center, Nick. <laughs> that's gotta be a YouTube clip. Give me a break. <laughs> See if they can use that to turn the game a bit. Here comes Samoy Lanz. Over the top. Nice shot. Consistent. Just really, really consistent. Doesn't matter which side they're on. The Latvians are keeping the ball in play. They're making mostly good choices. Hitting a high line over Phil with the wind at your back is, is no easy feat. You've got to be really precise with it. Surprising a bit that earlier in the match, you know, Smedens was hammering a few balls out, but with the serve, they pretty much stayed away from him the whole time. Yeah, the the general consensus on the world tour is, you know, you go after some whaleovs and grind them down, but he, he's very consistent. Oh. Um, yeah, big touch. There. Yeah, it was a touch. As soon, soon as I said that, they go after Giannis, of course. But. Yeah. But, you know, every time I've played these guys, it, it comes down to, to switching it up. Once one guy gets in rhythm, you know, go to the other guy. And, and once he gets in rhythm, go to the other guy. It's, it's, uh, they're such similar players. Wow. Oh, what a dig. Oh. It's a big ass for Alex to put that one in. But it's a really big point for US. They still, you know, they're in this game, even though even though it doesn't seem like they are really. I mean, mm. They're going to have a chance here, I think. We saw earlier that uh, that extra gear that Phil and Nick have. There were times in that first set uh, against Alvaro and Simon that it just looked like they weren't even in the stadium, and then they turned it on. Here comes Nick after the dig. Nice pick up by Smedens. Really? I'll go, go. Ah! The transition setting has been a little, it's been tough. Nick's been making a lot of digs. Phil's struggling a little bit trying to get him on the net in, in transition. Yeah. I like seeing this style of play between the two teams, you know, longer rallies. When when there's no win and, and it's really easy to hit, three out of four of these guys are going to be just hammering all day, really quick rallies. Now we get to see Smittens and Smoilovs diving around, Nick doing what he does best. Uh, very entertaining. A little soft touch lefty from Phil there. Nice set. Big block from Phil Dahlhauser. Every time I say something, uh, <laughs> the exact opposite happens. <laughs> Killing it, bro. It's the try effect. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Nice try. <laughs> Never heard that one. Never had. 
Moy loves again. Off the net this time. Nick picks it up, but it drifts out. There's a Wayne big, did not a big hit one. and a quick rally. Yeah. <laughs> That's happened a few times. He's making good touches, but the ball is just drifting. Uh, ball drifted a lot. Nick gets there. Somehow managed not to touch the net. He was way under it. Athletic move by him just to get to that ball, much less put it on the sand. Nick's all over the jumbo. Oh. Oh, wow. oh! Potential double. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a play. There's a momentum play. Yeah, going to the that's, good time. Right. That's, uh, that's a big play. Huge. Good pickup by nice cover. That was a, almost a double, but you're allowed I, to do that, right? I guess so. Double contact Depends. on the first driven oh, ball. Oh, first strike. Okay. Yeah. As long so as it's off there's the no block. finger action, it, yeah. I think it hit his chest after he dug it. <laughs> <laughs> this is huge. Oh. Staying aggressive on Dahlhauser, I think that's a good call. Yeah. Don't get tentative. Make sure that Phil's going up for that hit every time so you can open up the rest of your game. 19-17. Nick's got the wind in his face. Tight set. Keeps it alive. <laughs> With oh, his wow. lap. Here we go. Oh, you're kidding me. Down. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> We're just hanging around here. Yeah. Hanging around. We got a shot here. 19, 18, 18, 19. I try. I'm with you. I like this too. This is a this is a fun brand of volleyball. Yeah. Not exactly what you expect to see out of these two teams. But now we're gonna see a big hit. Phil honest. I was right. Oh goodness. Yeah. Into the stands, about six rows deep. 2018. Match point for the Latvians. Moilov serving. They've been working about 95% Nick, as expected. This ball will go to Nick. Easy one. Oh, see that. Uh, didn't quite have enough to get it done that time. Good they discipline block. The Lion King. Feeling it. Latvians are fired up. Moving on to tomorrow. They've got one more match before they're in the crossover. Phil and Nick a little bit more work to do, but it's certainly not over for them. They'll drop down to the contenders bracket. We've got more volleyball on the way here. Pretty big matchup between a, uh, a couple of famous Brazilian teams. Take a look back at the, uh, the match that was the Lion King. There it is. Sealing the line, just nice steady play. And Nick almost keeps it alive. So much scramble, so much effort out of Phil and Nick down the stretch. Just couldn't make it happen. All right, so it's two sets to none. The Latvians advance over Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucena. Phil and Nick move into the contenders bracket. They've got more volleyball to play. We've got more volleyball coming up here on avpnext.com.